Hey guys. Um, so today's poem I actually wrote during uh, my poetry and performance class today with Professor Perdomo and the gang. Um, it was kind of like a cathartic letting it all out poem, so it's not really the best thing I've ever written, but I guess it served its purpose. Um, yeah. My room is plastered in suicide notes. None of them my own, none of them obvious, but plastered nonetheless. There are I love you napkins mom used to tuck into my lunchbox and tickets to Mulan at the drive-in where you let me sit shotgun. Shotgun has a different meaning these days. There are your letters from your last stint in rehab. The letter mom wrote me a week before she died. Under my shoe box, under my bed is a shoe box full of the sea glass we dug through sand for when we were all headed in the right direction when we were going someplace. There are photos of Jonah without his front teeth, Megan and Kate putting up Christmas decorations on the front lawn. They whisper to me, tell me all the stories no one else has bothered to remember and I keep them on a chain wrapped too snugly around my crow's neck. You texted me your suicide note, but I already knew that there were ghosts screaming through your veins, clawing out. Both of us knew, know it won't be the heroin that kills you. It'll be the memories while pa wallpapering my bedroom, the ones you can't face. It'll be mom's journal locked in a chest under your bed. It will be the guitar you sold for a plastic baggie. It'll be the way my little brother couldn't even look at you. It'll be the way I held your hand carefully because it was a swollen mess. You hadn't been able to find a vein. It will be the tattoo I'm getting, my first one. It's from the first suicide note we both admitted to reading. The heroine is one. But you can't stop me from adding an E at the end of your addiction, and you can't stop me from pasting each photograph into my memory. You can't stop me from collecting what's left of the scraps of my family.